EcoFlow wowed the world with the 800 watt supercharger for your EcoFlow products. Today we're gonna to say hello to its baby brother, the 500 watt alternator charger brought to you by EcoFlow. For those of you new to the channel, I'm Anton, a power engineer, industrial mechanic, and a Red Seal electrician. We cover all kinds of products and topics in an approachable way for the average everyday person. I'm glad you found us. Hello and welcome back to Gears and Tech. We reviewed this 800 watt power generator in the past. In fact, we did a ton of videos showing you how to hook it up as well as how to use it in your van life situation and your RV. But today we want to look at the brand new 500 watt charger. That is the baby brother to the 800 watt. So we're going to do a complete unboxing, show you what's inside here, and we're going to do a feature review just to talk about what it does and what it doesn't do. We are not going to do a hookup or install today. If that's what you're here for, check out our other videos where we actually do an install in a vehicle and we do an install in an RV to show you how to utilize the features of the generator charger for fast charging of all of your EcoFlow products. EcoFlow has been working on expanding the EcoFlow ecosystem, and they've included such products as the EcoFlow rigid solar panels, EcoFlow portable solar panels, the EcoFlow river and Delta series portable power stations, and those all work seamlessly with the 800 watt EcoFlow charger. We also have the EcoFlow wave series of portable AC and glacier portable fridge. And what's more, all of that runs through one seamless, easy to use app so you can keep an eye on everything, monitor it, charge it, use it, adjust it. It's all part of that EcoFlow ecosystem. So today I wanna to look at the EcoFlow 500 watt alternator charger. Now this is a groundbreaking component which adds to the already vast on the road power delivery solutions. We already talked about solar power. We already talked about the 800 watt charger. So this one slots nicely in between the really low end utilizing your cigarette adapter and kind of the more expensive options. We're gonna cover stuff like what does it do? Why is it better? And how does it actually work? But first, we should probably start with an unboxing so we can see what it even looks like. And in true Gears and Tech fashion, I have not opened it up. I went to, you can see I started tearing this up to try and get in there, but they have this beautiful pull tab and I didn't want to disturb your guys' experience of seeing this for the first time, just like me. So let's pull this tab together. Now one thing I like right off the bat, they have these little tabs so you can lift this up. This obviously is the EcoFlow charger. So I'm gonna look what's in this box first because it's gonna be the more boring part. This is likely to be just cables and stuff. We'll start with the smallest box. What is this? Now this is the mounting plate, which we'll look at a little bit closer in a minute, as well as, I don't even know what that is, and the mounting hardware. Inside here, We've got the charger cord, which is actually gonna be really cool. And we've got the power cable. It does have this giant hunk of something on here. Now, usually this has uh, coils around it that help to just eliminate interference caused by a lot of power going through wires quickly and HDMI cords and your video output cords. And it just prevents interference. The cable itself is five feet. 10 feet, 15 feet, plus a little bit extra. My guess is around 16 feet long. You'll notice that the black and red cable are different lengths. That's because it does come with a built-in fuse box that after you add the fuse, it's actually about the same length. Now the interesting thing here is this warning. It says for only 500 watt alternator charger and this end of the cable also has the same warning tag for only the 500 watts. So the first question I'm going to ask right now is would this plug into the 800 watt 
and it does. So this is why they tell you that this is for only the 500 watt. The reason they say for 500 watt only is because the wire size on this hookup kit is a little bit smaller than the wire size that comes with the 800 watt kit. So if you got confused, you might accidentally pull too much power through the wiring by hooking up the 800 watt. Now, the cool thing about this is it also comes with this cable. Now, the 800 watt, the big brother comes with an XT150 connector, whereas this comes with the XT60. That's this little guy right here, which means it works with the smaller EcoFlow River Series line of battery banks. So this guy would plug right into the side right here right into that port just like that. And then it would support up to 500 watts of charging power. Now let's get to the goods of it all and see what's in here. Because we will get our first look at 500 watt power inverter. And right off the bat, it looks almost like it's the same size as the 800 watt. So this is interesting. This is our first look at the 500 watt generator charger. And this is it's big brother, the 800 watt. Now, side by side, these things are freaking identical. The sticker on the side there is different, but the overall size is physically exactly the same. The ports are exactly the same, and it's even got the little on off button there. Smart move by EcoFlow in that there's no tooling changes needed, but my suspicion is, I wonder if I'm gonna have to pull these things apart to see the difference between the two. But that would explain why they tell you on the wiring, make sure you don't plug an 800 water into this because otherwise you might not even know. You'd have to look at this guy. And does this even say 500 watt? Okay, so it does say 500 watt right on there. It's a black on black, so it's hard to see, but it is on there. So now we know this guy looks the same as this guy. So I'm not gonna leave this out anymore because we don't need it, and I got a lot of stuff on my desk here. Now that we've seen everything that's in the box, the first thing you're probably wondering is, that looks really complicated to hook up. It's actually not, but if you are worried about the connection, I show you how to hook this up in a totally different video. So you can walk through that connection and make sure that you're not gonna mess anything up. Now to properly understand why this product exists, we need to understand how do we charge a product like our EcoFlow River product line. On this guy, there's two ways to charge. One is the AC port, which we can plug into a standard wall outlet. And because this thing is so small, it charges reasonably quickly. But if you're out on the road, the only option you have is this yellow port here. Now that yellow port will support a number of different input methods. It can support solar charging. Now we don't wanna get into specifics of the solar because most of the EcoFlow products have that port. So some can support 400 watts of solar charging, some 600, 800, or even more. So it can be a faster port to charge through. But most of us are using a cigarette adapter, which you can plug into any vehicle and charge through that. The limiting factor is that cigarette port can only charge at a maximum of 100 watts. So something like this suddenly is gonna take many, many hours to recharge. If you have the bigger Delta series of power bank, those are gonna take even longer. And in my experience, I've even had one where the power has completely depleted and I was not able to recharge it fast enough. I had to actually run my truck for hours on end to charge at 100 watts through that port, which was horrible. So suddenly this guy, plugs into the exact same port and it can put up to 500 watts of power into your EcoFlow product quickly and safely. Next thing you're probably wondering is, well, how does it do that? It's actually quite simple. This generator charger actually hooks up directly to the alternator on your vehicle. Most alternators on your vehicle and your standard passenger cars have an output capacity of between 500 and 1500 watts. Here's the thing, your car and or truck does not always take all of that power. In fact, when your vehicle is running under normal conditions, it's gonna use a quarter, a third, or maybe even just a half of the actual power available. And that's where this comes in. See, there's a lot of extra headroom on the capacity of your charging system. It's just not being utilized. The reason why that cigarette plug can't charge at higher than 100 watts is mostly because 
the voltage, it's running at 12 to 14 volts, and the wire size. The wire size is generally only set up to run 10 to 15 amps of power, which 10 amps is only gonna give you that 100 watts. So to keep it safe, that's the maximum that it pulls. But if you know that you've got really fat, thick wire that's designed to carry all of that extra power, you don't run the risk of burning anything up. Plus, this guy actually has a built-in DC to DC converter. Now, I don't wanna to get too technical, but the easiest way to boost power is to also boost voltage, which keeps your current the same. So we can pull 14 volts from the truck's charging system. We can put it into this, which would take that 14 volts and pump it up to probably 48 volts. We keep the current going through this tiny little cable at just 10 amps, but since it's 48 volts, that's 500 watts of power. So the current stays completely under control, but the wattage increases. It's almost like magic. And that's what this guy's gonna do. It's gonna take all of that extra power that that alternator can give, and it's gonna put it through here and ultimately put it into our EcoFlow power station so that it can charge that much faster. Now there are other products on the market that do something similar, and there's some generic ones that you can hack to make work with pretty much any device. So I can hear you guys screaming at your phone or tablet right now saying, Anton, there's cheaper options available. And I agree with you. However, those cheaper options require somebody who A, knows what the heck they're doing, and B, knows what the heck they're doing. Now, most of us are not electrical engineers and we don't wanna to try to figure it out. So for the little bit of extra cost, you can get something that's already been designed. Somebody smarter than me and smarter than many of you has figured out how to do the math and keep us all safe. This becomes as simple as simply plugging in a connector and all of a sudden, it's gonna just work. There's nothing to figure out. So what are the main features of the EcoFlow 500 watt generator charger? First off, it charges five times faster than the solution that you're probably currently using in your car, which is that cigarette plug. Way faster. This can recharge your 1000 watt or your one kilowatt hour Delta device in about two hours. Small asterisk on that because it will actually slow down the charge rate the closer it gets to 100, but that's not a limitation of this, it's a limitation of the battery technology that we use in all of these power supplies. This can actually be utilized as a three-in-one system. It can work in one way to pull power from the car and recharge your power system quickly using this XT60 cable. Makes it really, really easy. If you purchase an add-on XT150 cable, it will also unlock two other modes. One is reverse charge option, where it will actually use the battery in here to charge the battery on your tow vehicle or in your RV. It's especially handy for those of you who are in an emergency situation where for whatever reason your battery has depleted, this can charge it just as fast. This is known as the reverse charging mode. And then there's the battery maintenance mode. And what that does essentially, as far as I can tell, is it equalizes the two batteries. So if this one has a higher charge than your tow vehicle, this will equalize out to the power of the tow vehicle, bringing the tow vehicle's power up. If the tow vehicle is higher, then it will equalize this one to kind of balance those out. It essentially makes it so that the capacity of this is shared. So if you have multiple batteries in your system, then this can leverage all of those batteries where they all drain together. There are some problems with that setup where if you're not careful, you could wake up to have no battery power at all, especially if you're in a motorhome or in a tow vehicle where that is flat as well, that could be a big problem. But for those of you who are running like a van life setup and you've already got a lot of batteries, you've already got solar panels and you're just looking for a reliable way to add a power system, this is a great way to add that on and to tie it all together seamlessly so you can leverage your existing system and add this in a great, great, easy way. The other cool thing is because this uses the XT60 cable, suddenly your EcoFlow charger works with all of your EcoFlow power stations 
But also, if you have a different branded power station that has an XT60 cable, this can actually fast charge those systems as well. So if you're not totally in the EcoFlow ecosystem yet, you could get something like this, which would be your first entry into that ecosystem. All that engineering has been done for you, but it also ties directly into your existing power bank solution which is working just fine. You just need a nice, reliable, easy way to charge that faster. And we kind of alluded to it already, the plug and play capabilities. There's no messing around. Everything's been done for us. It's all color coded. The install is simple. Again, I show you in a different video how to do that. So check that one out. But all of the hard work is done. There's no math to do. There's no guesswork to do. You just buy the system, install the system, and it's ready to go plug and play. Now is the part where we ask you about it. What do you think of this product? Are you gonna give it a try? Have you tried it already? Do you have the big brother of this? What's your favorite EcoFlow product? I wanna hear about it all. Don't forget, everything that we've shown in this video is available in the links down below. I do have a discount code for you that you can use as well to leverage some extra savings on any of the EcoFlow products that are available on their website directly. Can't wait to see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching all the way to the end of this video. We hope you enjoy the content in this video and we'd love to have you come back. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. And for those subscribers who are looking for that extra special thing that you can do to support this channel, consider joining our members group. That's where we're building this community, the Gears and Tech community, where we can all enjoy content together you'll get special perks, which we'd love for you to check out by clicking the link down below. For those of you who are just happy to watch the video, that's okay too. You can check out some of our other content right over here, where we've got some previous videos that have already been uploaded and enjoyed by many of our viewers already. We do hope to see you again. This has been Gears and Tech. 